Indian Space Research Organization made its maiden commercial launch of 36 broadband communication satellites on board ISRO's heaviest so rock LV N3 N2, 43.5 meter tall rocket with a payload of over 5,700 kg lifted off from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota a little past midnight today. This launch is significant as it is the first Indian rocket with six ton payload and the first commercial launch by ISRO. That is X1 web satellites which is supported by Bharti Airtel were launched by the rocket. The mission happened exactly as we planned on the time uh, that it's this wonderful thing because, you know, uh, making a rocket and getting it ready to launch at the right time is always a challenging task, especially when you deal with complex filling process, testing process, everything went very precisely and we had no anomaly or observation. The liftoff was majestic. The entire flight of the rocket was also within the expected bounds of performance. It is a momentous occasion for Indian Space Research Organization because now, in fact, Indian Space Research Organization and New Space India Limited are launching the GSLV Mark III now known as Launch Vehicle Mark III, along with 36 OneWeb satellites. Now, Indian Space Research Organization and New Space India Limited, the commercial arm of Department of Space launch has, in fact, placing 36 OneWeb satellites in the lower Earth orbit. The rocket launch, exactly now you could see at 12.7, AM on 23rd of October from Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh. The launch is meant to, in fact, carry and place 36 satellites of UK based one web in lower Earth orbit, that is 605 kilometers from the surface of Earth, with a list mass of 644 tons. You could watch the GSLV Mark III, the launch vehicle Mark III carrying a momentous occasion for ISRO. This is the first time, in fact, this contract with World Web is historic milestone for NSI and ISRO as making entry into the global commercial launch service market. This is a very important time that GSLV Mark III Dwara Yape rocket launch Kia Jara hai is with 36 one web satellites called lower earth orbit Nimna Bhosha Kaksha may stop it Kia Jaga Tik Bara Baskar Sat Minit Par in fact Abhi launch Ho Chuka hai Sri Harikota Satish Dhawan Space Center se GSLV Mark III Kia Liya Yeh Pahla commercial satellites Kia Karnevala mission hai Abdek Sataki lift off successful tha aur yahan pe ab ye pura duration 19 minutes ka hoga pehla stage complete kar chuka hai pehla charan complete kar chuka hai aapko bata de ki kul 19 minute ka ye in fact duration hai flight duration hai aur lift off se lekar 19 minute ke baad in fact the satellites one web ke satellites ko us kaksha mein sthapit kiya jayega nimna bhush kaksha mein sthapit kiya jayega aur hum aapko bata de ye bahut hi mahatvapurna samay hai isro ke liye NSIL ke liye GSLV Mark III has two solid state fuel strap motors, a core state of liquid booster and cryogenic upper stage which has a liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen mixed for fuel. GSLV is designed to carry four ton class of satellites into geosynchronous transfer orbit and increase capacity at a low earth orbit. Now this launch has essentially opened up the global commercial launch service market for this rocket GSLV Mark III and many operators are looking to build low earth orbit constellations for meeting global communications. Now especially this particular one web is a global communication network powered by, powered from space enabling community to connect various connections for government, business and communities. So we are coming to you for live, from live Sri Harikota Satish Dhawan Space Center where we have seen a momentous launch of GSLV Mark III along with 
No, it is known as since it's launched as a lower earth orbit, it is LVM Mark III launch vehicle Mark III carrying 36 one web satellites. With video journalist Jay Prakash, Sri Prapanch for Times Now from Sri Hari Kota. Having crossed the dense atmosphere, the payload fell. We are at Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Hari Kota. And here my colleague Sri Prapanch was giving us all the details of satellite launch.